back to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to import Minecraft worlds into Blender using MimeWays. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is go ahead and download MimeWays. This is it right here. MimeWays, download it for Windows or Mac. Alright, go ahead and um, close those out. Okay, so once you do that, you're going to want to open this up. So open MimeWays up. And then open the world in Minecraft that you want to import in. This is it right here for me, a Blender logo. Um, yeah, this is going to be it. So let's go ahead and uh, quit this out. Okay. And we're going to say file, open world. Or if that's not there, open. This is only for Windows, by the way. And in the file location, you're going to do percent app data percent. You're going to go to dot .minecraft, saves, and then the Blender logo, and level.dat. For some reason, my voice is not working, let me figure this out. Okay, sorry about that. Um, unfortunately, that world was corrupted, and I was not able to import that in, so I'll just do a different world. That's okay. Um... So what you're going to want to do is select the area that you want to import in by holding right click. Okay, so hold right click and drag. And that's going to be the area right there. Once you do that, you're going to say file, export for rendering. Once you do that, you're going to save it as a wavefront. I'm going to just do it under documents. I'm going to say Minecraft world. Okay, once you've done this, I guess we can fill in the air bubbles. Hmm. I guess that's good right there. Press OK. It's going to export this, go into Blender, and then import OBJ, Minecraft World OBJ. You're going to open that up, import it, and it will import in. Now, the world's a little weird because I didn't select the height of it or anything, so that's what it's going to look like because. Right here is like, um, I don't know what's right there actually, it's just, I did some options while I was importing that uh, stopped me from loading that part of the ground. You can change it, of course. Okay, so, now this is your world right here. So, if we actually render this, this is a Blender render, so if we went ahead and rendered this in the Blender render with ambient occlusion on, It looks terrible. It's the first thing you notice. That is because, let's see, why is that? Let's change some stuff up right here. Go into render mode and it sucks. That's because the transparency, it's like the transparency of the object. It is also because I don't have mint map supported. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Go back into solid mode. Control Alt U. System. Go under system. And disable mint maps and GPU mint map generation and 16 bit fluid texture seems to be on. Now, if we went back into texture mode, it looks a good bit better. Then we need to open these up. Disable mint map right here and in into interpolation. Same thing with these guys. Render it now. Still looks pretty bad, but it's at least better. Now all you need to do is turn alpha on, and then the transparency down here will be off. So now if you rendered it, perfect. You need to apply this to the flowers. Everything else that has transpar transparency. So the grass. There's a flower right there that has it. Okay. And that's it for Blender Render. So that's how you do it for the Blender internal render. Let's go ahead and render this out and see how it looks like. Looks pretty good. 
Let's just go and do this with for cycles render. Change it to cycles render here. And of course nothing will work. So what you're gonna want to do is change all the materials to be um cycles um supported. And go ahead and give it all a texture right there. Change it from linear to closest. And we'll give it an alpha in a minute. So go ahead and change all the materials to that. Okay, so I've done almost every single material now, as you can see. But now if you render this, it's gonna look pretty bad. So let's turn off the ambient occlusion. Go, get the sky texture works. Okay, so this is gonna look seriously bad. Let's turn the strength up. Actually, not seriously, but there's gonna be no transparency, so like, um... Your flowers are going to be black, so as you can see, in between the leaves is black, and of course you don't want that in a scene. As you can see, the roses are black. Grass is black. Mostly everything that has transparency is black. So how do we fix that? Go into your material, change it to Node Editor, the um, mode. Add a mix shader. And uh, put it in between the diffuse. The diffuse at the top one, transparent at the bottom one. Take the alpha channel and put it into the mix shader. And there you go. So let's go ahead and go out of that mode. What you can now do is basically copy this node. So select it all and then control C. 3D view. And then go into the node editor on all the modes that need it. Paste that part in and delete that part there, okay? And just repeat repeat this process for everything that needs a transparency to it. There we go. And we'll just do one more over here. We don't need to do all of them. It is good to, but we don't have to. Okay, paste that in. Now that you have done that, if you render it now, You will see it's kind of weird. It's kind of like it's the opposite of the transparency. Which is a problem, right? So this is how you create like a burnt forest, which, which we don't want. So instead of just putting the image texture here into the factor with the alpha, you need to, they have another um, image, the world alpha. And then you put the alpha, actually you put the color of that into there. And you change it to non-color data. The alpha is the same thing, but the color kind of works a little bit better. You may also, if you um, are having the same problem, invert that. So it's, uh, instead of doing that, let's just invert it. So you just add an invert node right to the alpha right there. And that works. So now just go into 3D view and once again select all this stuff and put the invert in between. There we go. Okay, so that's most of the stuff right there. We don't have we don't have all of it. So let's do one more here. Okay, so now if you render this, now we actually have transparency. So the grass here looks pretty good. And if you look through the leaves, let's find a good spot. You can see the dirt right there, so that's also transparent. And there's no blackness around the roses. Awesome. Okay, so that would be how to create a Minecraft scene using MimeWays. So yeah. By the way, don't import Minecraft 1.10 worlds into MimeWays at the moment because it's not supported. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial.